for Mimi Mondays and today I am going to show you how to make a dress. I'm actually making this dress for my birthday so I decided to go with a floral pink sheer print. Um, I'm kind of into the lace thing these days. I like it. It's kind of sexy. So um, I'm going to drape it on my dress form. Not sure if I'm going to plug in a zipper later on or if I'm just going to do it dress to fit over the head type of thing. We'll see how it goes. So um, you don't necessarily need a dress form to make a dress. Um, in another show, I'll show you guys how to just trace your favorite dress, get the shape of that, and you can make it like that without a dress form. So I'm gonna drape it. First, we're gonna start out with just going ahead and draping the shoulders. So you'll put your pin in the shoulders part, of course, on the wrong side, always on the wrong side so we can sew properly. It is, um, I smoothed out my fabric. I pinned it very tightly um, to the seam line on the side. And I did the same thing for this side. So sometimes when you see yourself, you still have loose fabric, you can make darts just to tighten up this fabric part. And that's what I did. And darts are normally made from uh, the bust line. So pretty much you can go to the waistline if you would like. And that'll just kind of tighten up your fabric for you. I think I'm going to make it a tad bit tighter. And then when you are pinning the shoulders, you want to pin a little over the shoulder. So when you start pinning the back, they'll match up. Come get a closer look. So this is what I mean by pinning the shoulders. And you want to kind of overlap the shoulder. Just like this. And then you want to pin down your sides really tight. And you make the darts right here. So now we're going to match up the shoulders. This is the back shoulder that we're pinning. So when we get ready, we can match them up and sew them together. Now, typically what you do is trace your fabric, but since it's lace, it's gonna be hard to um, trace it with the tracing pencils. So you just have to just pay attention to your pins, or I recommend putting paper in between since you won't be able to trace it. So after I pin down this, we're going to start pinning down the rest of the silhouette. Smooth it out. So this is what I mean by smoothing it out. And pinning down your sides. So now I pin down the back. What I'm going to do now is finish pinning up the sides. So match up and you at least want to leave yourself some seam allowance like um five eighths of an inch so you, can sew, you don't want to sew exactly like what it is now you got to leave yourself a little space so you can actually put it on sewing it exactly um kind of true to form would make you have to shimmy in it and you don't want to do that so I'm going to finish pinning. Um, we're going to have a relatively long train. I'm not sure how long the train will be, but um, I definitely want it to be long. I want to feel like a goddess, queen type feeling going on. So, all right, I'm going to finish pinning and now I'll meet you guys over at the sewing machine. Three. Okay, so I decided to add paper to make it a little easier since it was lace, so I don't know how to measure out from the seam line about five eighths of an inch. And then um, decided to put darts in the back just to make it a little tighter. So, and this is the train. I might add some more fabric to it, but I'm not quite sure yet. So this is the front of the garment. 
and this is the back. So now I'll be taking her to the sewing machine. So I already cut the extra fabric off of the dress and now I'm pinned down the sides, the seam, and I'm making a hem at the very bottom of the dress as well so it could just have nice clean finished lines and the dress is coming out very beautifully so it's all pinned down to the side and I have to fit pretty much down pack and I have the darts in the front and I'm gonna probably bring the darts down just a little bit more to give it a more of a fitted look and then this is the back then I pinned just to kind of bring it in tighter. So after I sew the sides and the slits, um, all we have to do then is put on the arms. This is the dress completed. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, shorten the sleeves. Right now the sleeves are open. I'm not gonna try on the dress and show you guys until my actual birthday on Saturday. Aries, I'm so excited about my birthday on Saturday and so as you can see I sew the neckline anytime you sew um, you want to cut the excess fabric off so I skipped through all that for you guys I cut off the excess fabric these are my very long pelican um, sleeves that I have on the dress this is the train this is the train on the dress I'm so excited. It definitely turned out the um, way I like it. Excuse some of the mess because I'm doing like 50 things in my home for myself and others. So you guys will catch me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter with this gown on. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I should cut my pelican sleeves or if I should kind of leave them long because I like the goddess look that it's giving me. So this has been Mimi Mondays. I hope you guys enjoy my segment as always. Toodles till next Monday.